The boot stomping song Truck Yeah is relating with country music fans in a big way. It's now certified gold in the top 10 on country music charts and to date is Tim McGraw's fastest rising single. Big things for the country star, but no one could be more excited about the song's success than Chris Jansen. Jansen is one of four riders, himself, Danny Myrick, and the guys from the country duo Low Cash Cowboys. Before that summer day in 2011, all four had never all written together. In fact, the writing session came about because Jansen double booked himself. I get a, a, a text on my phone and it's Danny Myrick, uh, which is the third co-writer on the song. And he, and he says, uh, hey, are we on today? And I thought, oh, oh, oh crap, you know, oh my gosh. And I said, sure, man, uh, but here's the deal. I'm, I'm riding at Sony today, uh, Sony Tree with the Low Cash Cowboys. Do you know each other? And, and vice versa. And I, I hit them up at the same time. And everybody knew each other. So we all got in a room and decided we'd write together. Not only did the session come about unexpectedly, the title came out of nowhere before they even sat down to write. And I pulled in and long story short, I get upstairs and Preston was like, I love that truck. And I was like, well, the alternate to truck, yeah. I'm, you know, I was filthy sailor mouth that day and I just said it. And he goes, whoa, 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 no, no. How about truck, yeah? Jansen said the lyrics started flowing and that's when Chris came up with the hook. Truck, yeah. It was a true co-write. I mean, everybody added their own flavor and spice. The song quickly came together. It just came about and, and literally, it was like rapid fire pistons. I mean, it was just like, okay, I'm gonna say this, and Danny's gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this, and Preston's gonna say this, and Chris will say this, and, and it, literally everybody was just spitting out lines, and it, and it happened really fast, and we wrote the song within an hour. One of the best parts of the song, the lyrics, are all true life scenarios. Got a little Wayne pumping on my iPod, pumping on subs in the back of my crew cab. Little Wayne pumping on my iPod, that's what was, that's what happens to me when I'm hanging out with my stepson Graham. I mean, it's like, that's what he's listening to in the Tahoe, that's what I listen to. And the line about chilling in the back room, Jansen says a lot of Nashville artists can relate to that, especially him, since he got his start on one of Broadway's most famous honky tonks. Chilling in the back room, hanging with my whole crew, sipping on a cold brew, hey now. The back room at Tootsie's, you know, famous legendary right by the Ryman. So chilling in the back room, hanging with my whole crew, sipping on a cold brew, hey now. That came from a true place. Jansen says they left thinking Low Cash would cut the song as their next single. But little did they know, a joke one of them made during the co-write would come true. Preston said in the middle of the write, I, I said, man, this can be so great. He said, yeah, we're not giving this to anybody, guys. You looked at all this. We're not giving this to anybody, unless Tim McGraw. By the next day, a demo was done. Jansen hesitantly played it for his wife, who brought it to the attention of someone in McGraw's camp and Jansen's publishing company. Within days, the demo was pitched to McGraw, and that next week, Jansen got the call that McGraw cut their song. It was such a, whoa, you know, kind of thing. I just crank it up. A1, uh, a lot of times I'll just snap a picture of it on the, you know, on the dial. Pretty special for a hard-working songwriter who has never even had a cut until now. I would have taken a cut on anybody. Thank the Lord it happened, and it's on Tim McGraw. Yeah.